you got it. And uh, what's what's coming down to the pike? What can we look look forward to in the future? Well, that's very nice of you to ask. Thank you very much. With the understanding that we have already covered um, gossipy overviews of the Kennedys and the Reagans, particularly Ronald Reagan's early years in Hollywood, that just won an award from the Hollywood Book Festival for one runner-up to Best Biography of the Year. We're about to come out with a book called Bill and Hillary, so this is that thing called love. And our point is that in all the many books written about the Clintons, no one has really ever followed from a tabloid point of view an overview of the oceans of scandal that has been associated with them and the oceans of reactions or overreactions to the Clintons from both from the right and from the center. There's a Greek drama as well as an absurdist comedy potential in this vast repertoire of, of literature and fact and vituperative hell that the Clintons have gone through. We are publishing a tabloid-style overview of scandals associated with the Clintons, and that's due out in October. We're expecting some coverage of that. I think it will certainly touch buttons all over the place. But we, again, are reporters doing this as a commentary on the Internet and on the tabloid scandals that have followed the first president of the tabloid age. In earlier ages, no one could write this way. Now we have immediate coverage on the Clintons have indeed been guinea pigs or litmus tests for the new American media. We'd like to bring that out in the book we're releasing in October called Bill and Hillary. So this is that thing called love. Dan Forth Prince, our guest is a new book, Peter O'Toole, Hellraiser, Outlaw, Sexual Outlaw, Irish Rebel, on book stands now. And we'll look for that Clinton book in the uh, fall. Dan Forth, thanks for checking in. Thank you very much. You got to have, have a good day.